All right, there's no official Wilbur Dream Cruise this year due to COVID-19 concerns, but that's not stopping cruisers from still showing up, and that has some local leaders really concerned. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson has their message. I've spoken with businesses and law enforcement, and they honestly just don't know what to expect. The official Dream Cruise, yeah, it's been canceled, but then there's sites like this one in a restaurant parking lot filled with vintage cars, and then sites like this. People already parked in their lawn chairs, eating, watching the road that has police preparing for enforcement. Historic Woodward Avenue is lined with local businesses like Kramer Jewelry. It's a family affair. My dad started in 1962. In past years, hundreds of thousands of vehicles took over Woodward during the Dream Cruise, so... We normally close um, sometimes early on Friday and then all day Saturday. Since the official event was canceled this Saturday, they planned on being open and serving customers a relief after months of lost business due to the pandemic. Normally Saturday is our busiest day. But now, seeing the street begin to transform on the eve of the officially canceled event, he and his family don't know what to do. Should we open or close? And he said, probably close, start putting signs up. How many Dream Cruise defiers will there be? It's kind of one of those things. I talked to my mother also. She said, drive in and see. I go, yeah, and then get stuck in traffic. Michigan State Police and the Oakland County Sheriff are prepared for anything. I've got a ton of extra people, my whole motor unit. I've got, you know, different reaction teams and my helicopters. You know, just to have the resources, you don't want to be caught flat-footed if a whole bunch of people show up out on Woodward and you got gridlock or you've got an accident or someone, you know, a burnout lane starts. Driving on Woodward is, of course, allowed. The big concern is the number of spectators a potential unofficial event could draw. As some are already setting up lawn chairs. Police departments say they're prepared to enforce social distancing, and Royal Oaks Mayor says in a statement about the potential unofficial cruise, he's frustrated and, quote, Tired of divisive stunts and shenanigans for people who refuse to be team players during a national crisis. Want to know why schools are closed? Look to people who promote and attend silly events like this. In the city of Ferndale, no open alcohol, no tents or any structures of any sort can be set up in any public spaces. And it's important to know that you do need to socially distance and that will be enforced in any city along Woodward you might travel to. I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.